Welcome to day 27. Hi, my name is Brian. I'm autistic and I have ADHD, and I've been working on getting through autistic burnout and depression for the last 27 days on video. It's been an interesting experience. Uh, thought I was going to be doing pretty good today. Uh, yesterday I talked about maybe switching things up to eating a little healthier, and I did that, but then I wound up drinking a triple espresso made with heavy whipping cream and honey. So, uh, that was delicious. Um, kind of threw me off course on that healthy eating part, but, you know, I think I'll start more on Monday, tomorrow. As this whole 30-day thing's been wrapping up, I've been thinking about what I'm going to try to do afterwards, because it's not like uh, I'm just going to stop trying to get out of burnout and depression and things like that. I'm, I'm going to keep going. I'm just not going to film every day like this and, and show it. And as I was thinking about that, I realized I've been focusing a whole lot more on just the, uh, the difficulties as far as autism goes and not focusing on ADHD as well, because, well, I, I don't know why. Um, I mean, there is a lot of overlap between the two, but I think I'll be leaning more into the ADHD side and difficulties and challenges and things to do to cope in the coming days. And a book was recommended to me. Let me know if you've read it before. It's called Driven to Distraction. Recognizing and Coping with Attention Deficit Disorder. Uh, the author, Edward, Edward and John, uh, looks like they've had a couple of books about the subject, and they seem to be very well written. So I'm looking forward to going through those and seeing what tips and tricks I can pick up. That's kind of weird. I didn't think I would last 27 days on this. And there's a lot of people that have been going through this a whole lot longer than 27 days. And granted, I mean, I, I have as well. I just decided one day to start and then film 30 days of it. It's not like I just was like, oh, I'm in burnout today. I need to work on getting out of it. Now it was months beforehand of not really hardly being able to do anything. So as I started to come out and started to, I guess, want to come out of burnout, I mean... That may not be the best word choice, but sometimes it feels like you just want to stay in burnout and depression just because it's easier. You know you're going to wind up there again. And so having to make that conscious choice to want to change is a big step. And then ever so slowly, increasing goals and energy knowledge. Don't know where I'm going with this anymore. The uh, coffee's starting to do its thing. and Or it's the sugar. It's probably the sugar. Caffeine doesn't do a whole lot to me. I go to sleep pretty quickly after this. I'm trying to think if there's anything else of note, anything else that's helped recently. I had a friend make a nice meal for me and got me a couple of drinks, which was really cool. A lot of really cool uh, recipe suggestions, snack suggestions in the last video. Uh, real helpful there. And was able to do a little bit of volunteering today to help do some good. So that was nice. It's always awkward afterwards because people thank you or tell you you did a good job. And I've never been one to receive compliments well. And I don't do it for that. It's, I mean, I suppose it's nice that, that they do that. Um, but it's just kind of awkward for me. Anyways, I think that's all for today. I have to do some work, actually. Normally don't work on the weekends, but I have a bedtime story to narrate for some, for a client. So uh, I'm going to get started on that. Have a good weekend. And 
See you on day 28.